It's attended by over 1 million people. So clearly this guy has a lot of influence. And this was one of the largest gatherings in the world for any religious Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Inti girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, my name is Fanny Lungu and make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe. So today I'm actually going to be reacting to, to 10 surprising facts about Zaki Naik. This should be interesting. I mean his teachings or his um conferences of uh, uh, conferences have actually been interesting to listen to there's always something i always say there's always something to something new that you gain from listening to different people so yeah and i mean there's not much to say i'm just excited to see what this video is going to be about if i'm going to get new information from this if i'm just going to let just grasp something from this in short. So yeah, without wasting time, let's get into the video. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, it's mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, volume number four, hadith number 3461, Propagate even if you know one verse about Islam. Dr. Zakir Abdul Karim Nayak is an Indian Islamic preacher. He's a well-spoken doctor who speaks fluent English as well as Bombay and Hindi. Although his messages have inspired many people from around the world, he has sometimes ended up in hot water for some of his views. Welcome to another episode of FTD Facts. My name is Leroy Kenton and in this episode so I have 10 surprising facts about Dr. Zakir Nayak that I'm going to share with you. But before I jump into the facts, I got a question for you guys. I'm actually really curious to know what public speakers inspire you sound off down below in the comment section okay so starting off with the first fact dr. Zakir Nayak he runs a nonprofit charitable organization called the Islamic Research Foundation as well as peace TV which reportedly reach over a hundred million viewers according to its website it's dedicated to the promotion of Islamic Dewa which is the understanding of Islam through presentation through various channels including TV it's also dedicated to the promotion of truth justice morality, harmony, and wisdom for all of humanity. Zakir Nayak was born in Mumbai, India in October 1965 and he attended the Kishinjan Chalaram College and studied medicine at the Chopiwala National Medical College and BYL near Charitable Hospital as well as later on he studied at the University of Mumbai where he obtained a Bachelor of Medicine and Surgery. Clearly this guy is well educated and he knows a whole lot now the appeal of Dr. Zakir Nayak is that he seeks to clarify Islamic viewpoints and clear other misconceptions about Islam using the Quran, using the Hadith, as well as other religious scriptures as a basis along with mixing in scientific facts to make his points a lot more impactful. God is one. He's called the true. Now, unlike many other Islamic preachers, his lectures are delivered in a common language that people can understand. And they're given in English, not Urdu or Arabic, and he's always seen wearing a suit and tie. That's like his staple, his costume. It's like you see that, you're like, oh, that's Dr. Zakir Nayak right there. He's all about keeping things simple. And according to the Islamic Research Foundation's website, in the last 20 years, Dr. Zakir Nayak has delivered over 2,000 public speeches all around the world. Now, among the places that he's visited, United States, Canada, United Kingdom, Italy, France, Saudi Arabia, Australia, Ghana, Indonesia, Malaysia, Singapore, Thailand, Hong Kong, China, Mauritius, Sri Lanka, and the Maldives. Also, in March of 2012, he did a public talk in Kishangani in India and was attended by over 1 million people. So clearly this guy has a lot of influence. And this was one of the largest gatherings in the world for any religious lecture by one speaker. Dr. Zakir Nayak was the recipient of the prestigious King Faisal International Prize or the KFIP in the category of service to Islam back in 2015. Now the award was announced by Maka Saudi Arabia governor Prince Khalid Al Faisal, alongside the KFIP Secretary General Abdullah Al Uthaymin, and each prize consists 
consists of a handwritten Arabic certificate as well as a 24 karat 200 gram gold medal and a cash reward of 750,000 Saudi Riyal which works out to be around 200,000 US dollars. But that's not the only thing he's received. Like he's received numerous awards from leaders around the world. In 2013, the Department of Islamic Development Malaysia conferred a Mal Hiraj Distinguished Personality Award to Dr. Zakir Naik in a ceremony at the Putrajaya International Convention Center. He's also married to Farhat Naik and he has a son named Farik and a daughter whose name is Rushda. And the final fact I want to share in this episode about Dr. Zakir Naik is that his views have often offended many Muslim scholars, both from the Shia branch as well as the Sunni community. Many Muslim scholars across the world look down upon Zakir Naik for his statements on Allah and the Prophet. Like in a speech, he had mentioned how Muslims shouldn't seek favors from the Prophet in their prayers, but only from Allah. So a lot of people were like, mm, does he respect the Prophet Muhammad? They got a little upset upset but hey either way when you have that much influence like Dr. Zakir Nayak as well as speaking so much in the public not everybody is going to agree with you and I guess that's just something that you got to live with when you're in the public eye like that. Those are 10 surprising facts about Dr. Zakir Nayak. Let me know down below in the comment section what you thought about anything that I shared. What are your views on Dr. Zakir Nayak? I'm curious to know. I also take requests for a new video topic. So if you have any suggestions for future FTD Facts episodes that you want to see, you can also drop those down below in the comment section as well. If I pray five times, I am getting guidance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I am on the straight path, therefore I am praying five times. And before you guys head out, here's another video that I recommend. You just tap the annotation right here to check that video out. Also, if you want to follow me on social media, those links are below in the video description section as well. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already to join the FTD Facts family and ring that bell so you can be notified of our daily episodes. Until next time, guys, you have been awesome. I'm going to see you real soon in another video. Like I said, with each video, there's always something to learn. Who knew? or well, at least I didn't know. That's why when someone comes up with videos like this, you're even excited to learn something about someone. Because even though we, we react to him, we have no idea about... We know him as someone who's out here giving all these teachings or whatever you want to call them we actually don't know anything about him other than the names we were provided with from here I, the first two facts blew me away i didn't even know he was a doctor doctor i just thought i never even thought about it dr zaki naik i never even thought the doctor meant anything and it's surprising to find out he's actually studied um He's actually studied something other than religion. And he's got degrees or whatever it is that he's obtained in life. It's always interesting. It, it, that, that just blew me away. I had no idea. I never assumed anything. But then at some point you find, you find yourself thinking maybe this person just studied religion or something. Or maybe he's just a religious person and that's it. They have nothing else that they've studied. That's why in this life we shouldn't be quick to judge or quick to assume or just quick to think on someone's behalf or try to figure them out. Another thing that shocked me is um, the fact that he's married. Hmm. And he has two children. That's very, that's very nice to know. That's just nice to know. And about the prizes, I'm not even shocked that he's received these prizes in life. I mean, he's putting in work so someone is bound to recognize his um his work. Also, there's a Kina TV. I think I'm aware of that. I wasn't aware of his um is it foundation? What was it called? Yeah, or well, whatever was mentioned on number ten, but yeah. It's just good to know that even with all this achievement, he still finds time to get out there, preach what he believes in, not preach, like talk about what he believes in, and also give back to those people, I guess, that I need. 
that's giving back doesn't mean it has to be money oriented or anything giving back could be through his teachings which is just which just he stays amazing me and this was a good video i should say so let me know how you feel about these 10 facts, if there's any corrections, if everything was accurate, if there's any facts that you'd like to add to this. Let, let us know in the comment section below and yeah, let me know how you feel about this video. Give, give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and if you've got any video suggestions, leave them in the section below and we'll actually do them for you guys. So I'll see you in my next reaction video.